Hello, my name is Monica Sook and I am going to read a poem by the poet Araceli Sturme. It's from her book Teeth and this is the poem. It's called Consider the Hands That Write This Letter after Marina Wilson. Consider the hands that write this letter. Left palm pressed flat against paper as we have done before over my heart, in peace or reverence to the sea, some beautiful thing I saw once, felt once, snow falling like rice flung from the giant's wedding, or strangest of strange birds. And consider then the right hand and how it is a fist within which a sharpened utensil, similar to the way I've held a spade, the horse's reins loping, the very fists I've seen from Rose through Liné and Esteli. For years I have come to sit this way, one hand open, one hand closed, like a farmer who puts down seeds and gathers up, food will come from that farming. Or yes, it is like the way I've danced with my left hand opened around a shoulder, my right hand closed inside of another hand, and how I pray. I pray for this to be my way, sweet work alluded to in the body's position to its paper, left hand, right hand, like an open eye, an eye closed, one hand flat against the trap door, the other hand knocking, knocking. I love this poem and I wish I had read this poem when I was younger because my relationship to writing seemed to be on very different planes. First of all, all the writing that was required of me happened in school. So I would try to be a good student and study really hard and read and take notes. And I would turn in my class assignments, my essays, and make sure that I had like a very, very neat kind of essay, like five paragraphs, topic, sentence, conclusion, etc. And it wasn't a really creative way of writing, you know? And then the other kind of writing that I did took place in secret. I didn't want anyone to find my secret diary, especially my brother or my parents. I just didn't want anyone to ever find the things I wrote down because all of the stuff that I wrote down in my diary was about my secret crushes or it was about the things I did with my friends throughout the day um, or the things that I did with my family even. Um, everything I wrote down in my diary felt really urgent to me back then when I was younger and it's really fun to look back on what I've written now as an older person. So I wish I had this poem because the poet Araceli Skirmet suggests that writing is more than just sitting at your desk and, you know, with your hands, like your left palm pressed flat against the paper and your, and your, you know, your other hand holding a utensil. She suggests that it's also an act of farming or an act of the act of dancing. So I love that it's a really physical thing to write. It's a really physical thing to write poetry. That moment where she mentions farming is one of my favorite moments because she says, like a farmer who puts down seeds and gathers up, food will come from that farming. This reminds me that writing is something that you can grow. It's something that can also feed you and nurture you and provide that nourishment spiritually. Um, so that is something that I've always kept with me. Um, but I, I didn't know, or I couldn't have appreciated what writing could do for me, um, without this poem. So I pass it on to you and I hope that you will keep writing, you will explore poetry and that you'll consider writing a poem if you have never done that before. Please write poetry, please explore. Thank you so much for having me um, be a part of this, I, the Poem I Wish I Had project. I really appreciate it and I hope that all of you are staying safe and, and that you're taking good care of yourselves. Thank you.